Hey guys, for this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use your snaps and your ortho and your grid snap. This is really critical if you want to make sure that your objects align in Rhino and uh, to make sure that you're drawing precisely. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start by making a, a rectangle and I'm going to place that rectangle randomly anywhere on my uh, Rhino screen. Now you'll notice actually that whenever you place something on Rhino, it always places it kind of on the ground plane, right? So that's kind of a critical first thing to know, okay? So let's go ahead and place that first rectangle anywhere. And I'm gonna place another rectangle anywhere. Okay, so I've got these two. Now let's say that I don't have any of my, my snaps on uh, and I don't have ortho on. And now I'm gonna make a polyline. Now, if I try to make a polyline and I want to say make, make a line that goes from this point to this point, I can try to zoom in and place my, my, my point there. And I can try to zoom in and try to make sure that it, it hits right there, right? But actually, if, uh, if I go ahead and zoom in more closely, I'll, you'll see that actually it's not exact, right? So it's not exact there. And even though it, again, it looks exact here, if I zoom in closely, it's not exact, right? And so that happens because Rhino has degrees of, of zoom. And so the closer you get in that you'll see it can almost infinitely zoom in. And if you're just trying to do it by, by you know, hand, you're almost invariably never going to be correct, right? And so if I actually want to build a line that connects those two points exactly, I want to make sure that I have my snaps on, okay? To turn your snaps on, you have to go down here where it says O snap. And if you're on a Mac, you'll see that you have your O snap actually as a little whole tab here. It doesn't actually necessarily say O snaps, but it does have all of these uh, little options turned on or off, right? So in PC, the first thing you do is you you click the O snap once that is um, highlighted. Then now you have your all of your options on or off, right? And as you can see, I tend to have end, near, point, midpoint, interception, and perpendicular on, and I don't have the others. You can play around with your preferences, but I tend to find those to be the most useful. So now if I go ahead and try and make that polyline again, you'll see that the moment that I get close to that corner, it tells me that is an endpoint and an intersection. An endpoint because it's the end of either one of those two lines and an intersection because it's the intersection of this line with this line, right? And so now if I get there, click on there, now I know for a fact that, that my new point is on that point. And again, here, right? So that's how I can use my O snaps. Now, that's also important because your O snaps, now you can snap to different things. You can, for example, snap to the near, and that means that you would be snapping here, anywhere on that line, okay? And the moment that I snap there, now I can also snap to the midpoint of this to anywhere near on this line, but then also you can see here, there's gonna be a moment where I'm snapping to the perpendicular. Okay, and so that can be very useful if you want to make sure that you're hitting something perpendicular to uh, another. Okay, so there's your your O snap. You can see again, all of these lines are on that same plane, in that ground plane. That's something that is important to remember that your your default is always to draw on that ground plane. So it happens a lot that we're thinking we're drawing three dimensionally, but actually we are not. Right, we are. You're drawing two dimensionally up along the perspective. Okay. There'll be a different tutorial to show you how to draw vertically or how to change your plane. Okay. So there you go. That's, that's your O snaps. Within Rhino, there's also something called your grid snap. And so you can turn your grid snap on. And that means that you will automatically be snapping to your grid. Okay. Now that can be useful if you know what your grid settings are. Or if you want to, for example, start and your object at the zero zero, which is where this little green line and this uh, red line intersect, right? And then you can build, and now you can count how many units. And if you know your units, 
that might be useful in in your in your building but it's not necessary in fact i tend to not use it because sometimes my building scale is different than my grid scale and then it gets me confused okay so that's something to know you can always toggle that one on and off and then last we'll talk about very quickly about the ortho and all that ortho does is it changes from you being able to click anywhere right randomly assigned right uh, to something where now if you click on your ortho it will naturally try to build perpendicular lines from each other now this can be very useful in, if you're trying to build you know orthogonal units uh, it can also be very unuseful if you're trying to build something that is non-orthogonal you can always though actually even within a command even if i'm not done i can always go back on it and toggle it on or off okay so just remember this doesn't actually change your commands if, even if you're in the middle of it you can always turn it on or off and then you can finish your command okay and that is it that's it for o snaps ortho and grid snap see you guys in the next one